Hello everyone. In today's video we will discuss how to create a professional gig, how we can rank our gig and get maximum orders. I will tell you the algorithm of Fiverr and some tips to make your gig better. First of all log into your Fiverr account and click on gigs. Before creating a new gig, let me explain to you how Fiverr's engine works. If your gig isn't getting impressions that means Fiverr engine is not showing your gig or it's not active. If you are getting impressions and not getting clicks that means Fiverr engine is showing your gig but the title and image of your gig is not catchy. That is why clients are not clicking on your gig. In this case you need to work on your gig title and image. If you are getting impressions and clicks but not getting orders that means your gig's description and pricing isn't convenient for clients. In this scenario you need to work on your description to make it catchy and attractive to clients. If you are a new freelancer you can attract clients by giving some extra work and free giveaways. Fiverr algorithm is very simple. It's a third party site which hire you to make some money for them. If you are getting them orders with low impressions they will promote your gig. If your gig didn't get any order in first week they will send your gig in back pages. Now let's create a new gig. Gig title. Gig title is very important because it display while searching on gigs on Fiverr. You can use 80 characters in gig title. Make sure make sure your gig title is catchy, short, to the point and use your main keyword in the title. Now you need to choose the most relevant category of your gig. It also appear in search results. In some categories you have to give a test in order to publish your gig. Like I told you in my previous video, Fiverr and other freelancing sites only welcomes professionals. If you haven't seen my previous video, please click the link on the top right corner to watch that video about Fiverr profile creation. Gig metadata, you need to select the most relevant criteria for your topic. Gig metadata is different for every single category. You need to be perfect in your services in order to succeed on Fiverr. How you can reverse engineer to rank your gig? I am sharing a file with you. I have created this file specially for gig optimization. You can get this file by clicking on the top right corner. In that video's description, you can get the file. In that file, I have also explained how you can collect the data in order to optimize your gig. Tags are the keywords which helps the buyer to find the gig on Fiverr platform. Make sure you use the relevant keywords. Do some research before creating gig. Use keyword in your title and tags also that will help you to rank your gig in search results. Scope and pricing. You have three different options to take your gig to the next level so you can earn more. In the beginning there was only one package and the price was $5 to $30. And price was $5 to $30. Choose a perfect name for your package like starter package or small package or silver package or anything you like. Second phase is to describe the details you are offering in that package. What's included in this package and you can choose the time frame also. Here is the tip. Always choose the delivery one day for the basic gig. That will gives you more impressions if a person is looking for a quick delivery or quick job. Now you have to choose the attributes. Remember, attributes change for each category. So you have to be an expert in order to select the right attributes. You can choose what to include in all three packages. Always keep the price of your basic package to $5 when you create a new gig. Extra services are to make more money. You can add extra things like quick delivery or other attributes which you didn't include in the basic and standard package. So you can always make good money by putting the $5 price for your basic package. You can also add custom gig extras. Third part is to describe your gig. Use all the 1200 characters and make sure to put all your keywords with 1% of keyword density. 1% keyword density means you need to add your keyword once in every 100 words. You can add bullets, 
and make bold and highlight your main features of your gig. Don't forget to put all the do's and don'ts you will provide in this gig. Frequently asked questions, you need to use FAQs to clear and answer the most relevant questions. Use your keywords in it and it will help you to save time. Clients will walk through your gig and read what you are giving and they will get answers of their questions before messaging you. Making clear all the things will help you to win the dispute if someone tried to double cross or wants to scam you. In this part, you can ask what you need to start the project. Like if you want to create a website, you need a login details of hosting. If you're a designer, you need to know at least the concept of the logo or color scheme and theme. In this session, you need to show your talent through images, videos and PDF file. You can use one video in your gig in which you can describe all your services, how you will work, which aspects you will cover. You can also show your portfolio. You cannot show your level or badges. You cannot share your contact info or any website link. Video should be in high definition. If you are a video editor, then you must include a video. In other categories, you can add video for more engagements. You can add 90 seconds video. You can add three images which can describe your services. You can also add your portfolio references. Make sure your image is very attractive and catchy. You can create images through Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. If you don't know how to use these softwares, you can choose Canva. If you don't know how to use Canva and what is Canva, click on the top right corner. I have a complete course about Canva. All the images used in this video are created through Canva. Now you can understand how powerful this tool is. It's less time consuming with great features. You can add two PDF files. Make sure the quality of your PDF file is good. Content of PDF is attractive that can convince your client. Now you are one click away from publishing your first gig. Now you need to share your gig on social platforms. Here comes the part which I told you in my previous video to create accounts with all social platforms. When you will share your gig on the same platforms which are linked with Fiverr, you will get extra favor from Fiverr. In the next video, we will discuss how to use buy request to get more orders and how to monitor your previous published gigs. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so you will not miss any upcoming video.